Eagles fans are excited this season with the Tascacitas' remarkable 31-1 regular season. Despite losing two standout seniors to Division I after last year's run to the region finals, they've moved to third in the state with only two returning seniors this season. You know, all off season last year in the spring and to start the year off, um, we've, we've set some goals for ourselves, some small goals that we've been trying to achieve and we've been able to do that. You know, our focus has been there and uh, our chemistry, our chemistry is unbelievable. Our guys like playing with each other. We share the ball really well and I think that's key for us. And how well do they share the ball? All five Eagles starters are averaging in double figures. It, it means a lot. It helps a lot also because like we're able to find the guy if they're hot, we get the ball to them and let them work and it's just if they try to stop one person, we always can go to the next person they can score too. But the biggest part of the Eagles offense has been the emergence of Carson Edwards. The 5'10 junior has gone from role player to an offensive explosion, averaging 25 points a game. I worked a lot harder this summer and just to prepare for this season. I know my roles is going to change from just not just being a passing guard to more of a scoring guard, so that's probably what changed the most. It's great having somebody like Carson on the team, somebody who you know can score when you need it and who will play big every single game, day in, day out. Carson has gone from an unrecruited sophomore to receiving offers from Baylor, U of H, and Rice, and head coach David Martinez sees his improvement in a number of areas. He's a, a big time game type player. He wants to win. His competitive edge, his intensity, his uh, relationship with his teammates and his coaches. I mean, all that's important. And he's done a really good job in, um, you know, in our workouts and our practice and in games, you know, just kind of leading us in the, in the right direction. Even though I'm a junior, I still got to be a leader like over everyone else. Cause I've been, I mean, I've been on varsity as a freshman. So I kind of know, I kind of have experience. So I want to I want to like teach, not really teach, but just make sure everybody stays accountable defensively, offensively, everything like that, be a leader. This Eagles squad is hoping to become the first Atascacita basketball team to make it all the way to state. I mean, it doesn't mean a lot because you know, everybody in the uh, state or in the city of Atascacita wants us to go far. So, you know, we just want to make them proud. Well, last year, our baseball team uh, made it to the state and one of our starters, Matt Wilrod, actually played on that team. So. He's got some experience actually getting there, so his, his leadership and experience has helped this team as well. They don't have a rotation player taller than six foot four, but they're making up for it with a combination of defense, quickness, and teamwork. For High School Spotlight, I'm Robert Land.